Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I want you to think for a second just how much labor goes into making a bleaching tray conventionally. You can see in the background the steps involved for your assistance, and it really is kind of nuts when you think about it. Well, I'm going to show you a better way how to do it digitally and with 3D printing. Okay, so here is our model, and we're going to go into the adapt step after the refinement or check step. And we'll focus here on the maxilla. And we can do first a plane cut. So let's take a look at this. And I might want to angle this down a little bit more this direction to make it even. And then drag this down like so. That looks pretty good. We can hit the check sign. And now we've trimmed that area. Now we can do a free cut for any remaining areas. So next we're going to go into our adapt tools over here. And you can see here there's a few different options. There's decrease, increase, uncarve, or carve. So for this, we're going to use this increase feature. So you can increase the radius to 5 and leave the strength at 0.5. And you can try different variations, of course. This one seemed to work for me. And you can begin wherever you want, depending on how many teeth you want it to block out. In this particular scenario, we can just start on the canine and just increase a little bit just as if it were block out material. And then you can go to the next tooth and so on. You can certainly fine tune the block out area to your liking if you wanted to get a little bit more specific in the area, but that's totally up to you, of course. Next, I can change this tool to the smoothing feature, and then I can smooth out each area as nicely on each tooth. Also, if you increase the area a little bit too much, you can use the smoothing feature to smooth it down, and that will also help decrease the area. So from start to finish, the overall time with doing this might be longer. The big difference is that it's not dedicated assistant time. They're just hitting print, and then they could be more efficient in the practice doing other things. With the conventional method, it's their entire time, it's their labor the entire time of fabricating the bleaching tray. With this method, they can actually just walk away. So now you see I'm going to uh, build the model and we can add a base to the upper arch, getting it ready to print. So this whole process is done directly in the ScanFlow software. Uh, no exporting and importing into third-party applications. You're prepping all of these models even before you save it back to your server or back to your computer. Uh, so the workflow is really nice and very fast. And this overall workflow compared to conventional methods will save your assistants a lot of actual labor time.